Recovery does not always move in a straight line, and it can be frustrating to feel like you are trapped to running in circles with old habits. Hi, I'm Sheila Davis, and I am a licensed clinician at Sandstone Care. I have five years of experience helping people with addiction, and in this video, I'll be sharing practical tips on how to avoid triggers and stay on track for a successful recovery. So let's dive in. Tip number one. Identify your triggers. The first step in avoiding triggers is to identify them. Triggers can be internal or external factors that cause you to feel stress, anxiety, or other emotions that lead to substance use. A trigger can be any sensory reminder of a traumatic event. A sound, a sight, a smell, physical sensation, or even a time of day or season. Once you identify your triggers, you can then take steps to avoid them. I have a friend. Let's call them Alex. Alex was on a journey of recovery after battling depression and alcohol addiction. One day while attending a support group, Alex learned about a powerful tool called HALT. HALT stands for hungry, angry, lonely, and tired. Alex realized that by recognizing and addressing these states, he could prevent relapses. Tip number two, build a support system. Having a strong support system is crucial in addiction and mental health recovery. When you surround yourself with people who are supportive and understanding, they can help to keep you accountable, give advice, and remind you that you are not alone. They can also provide you with emotional support when you need it most. Alex was determined to turn his life around and often looked for comfort in his support system. Alex understood that his family support system was like a safety net, always ready to catch him when he stumbled. Alex spent time with his supportive friends and attended community support groups such as Alcoholics Anonymous. Through the power of his support system, Alex discovered that recovery was not a battle he had to face alone. Tip number three, develop coping mechanisms. Coping mechanisms are effective tools and tips that you can put into action when you're feeling triggered. Coping mechanisms can include deep breathing, exercises, meditation, mindfulness, or physical activity. It's important to be prepared, so find coping mechanisms that work for you and incorporate them into your daily routine. As Alex continued on his path of healing, he discovered the power of coping mechanisms. Deep breathing exercises became one of Alex's go-to coping mechanisms. This simple act of focusing on his breath allowed him to ground himself and regain control over his emotions. He discovered that by finding healthy ways to navigate triggers, he could regain control over his life and start to build the life he wanted. Tip number four, avoid high-risk situations. High-risk situations are those that you know will trigger your addiction or mental health issues. And these situations can include being around certain people, going to a party where the drugs and alcohol are available, high-stress situations, or engaging in specific activities. It's important to recognize these situations and avoid them as much as possible. Along his path of self-discovery, Alex learned the importance of avoiding high-risk situations that could trigger his addiction and mental health issues. Alex made conscious choices to steer clear of these potential triggers, recognizing that certain people or social settings could be bad for him. Alex also identified specific places that were linked to his addiction. He made a firm commitment to avoid these places, understanding that being in those environments could reignite old patterns and temptations. Tip number five, take care of your physical and mental health. Recovery involves taking care of both your body and your mind. Eating a healthy diet, getting enough sleep, and exercising regularly just makes you feel better. Taking care of yourself can help improve your mental health and reduce your chances of being triggered. Alex, he was determined to heal both his body and mind. So every morning, he would get up early and do exercises like yoga or stretching. Alex would eat healthy foods that gave him more energy. He started reading books that inspired him, painting and writing. He realized that by taking care of his physical and mental health, 
He was building a solid foundation for a future he actually wanted. Avoiding triggers and addiction and mental health recovery is essential to long-lasting recovery. Recovery is a journey. And it's okay to seek help when you need it. If you want to learn more about substance use or mental health treatment options, then go to sandstonecare.com or call the number below. We'll get to know you and your specific situation and connect you with the support you need, even if it's not with us. Change is possible and Sandstone Care is here to help. You.